Hello guys, how are y'all doing? This video I'm doing is going to be a canon video. Now this is going to be for those of you who are kind of on the fence about canon. You don't know if you want to do it, but you want to try it before you make a huge investment. So this is a regular big pot, 16 quart pot. I have a towel here. Because when you get ready to load your pot up, you're going to put your, well your jar is going to stay because you're going to have stuff in it. But you want this to be covered. Now this towel will get, keep your jars up off of the heating element. Because I'm just using a regular stock part that I bought it uh, Big Lots. And we have a towel in here. Because I do not have a regular rack and I don't know how many people do have. Like I said, this is for people who are still on the fence and not sure if they want to start canning. So, this is also going to be a super, super easy canning project. We're going to recan mustard. Why would I recan mustard? Well, here's the deal. Mustard seeds are about $17. That is no joke. Now, I do have them, so if I have to make mustard... I have the ingredients to do it. I have the know-how to do it. This is four dollars at GFS. Probably about five or ten dollars at your Costco, BJ's, or Sam's. Or if you give them one of these, take it, recan it, start learning the cane procedure. So we're going to fill it up. And because this is a liquid, you're going to do that. You could actually take it up to the half, the one inch space. I'm just going to get a little bit of air out of it. And we're going to set this up. So we're going to take some vinegar, clean your ring top here. Set that over. There we go. That's it. And we just put it in. And this is actually four inches above the top of the jar. Alright guys, I will bring you back when we're ready. When I have it all loaded and we're starting to boil it. Hello guys, I am back. Now we got like six jars in here and this is all I dare to push, okay? Because I do have a towel in there. I don't usually do a towel. I usually have my bigger canners to do this with. But, you know, I want to show you guys how to do this. Set this up if you don't have a water bath canner. Now, heat is going to be medium high. Let me get you in nice and close so you can see that. There. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I run it on. That's it. Alright, me I'm going to go get my big canner so I can do more of these. Or I may just keep doing this one. We'll see. Alright guys, there you go. Now if you're new here, we have a cat. We do not have anywhere else where I can put these to hang out. So they have to hang out here for a 24 hour period. Now after they seal and all that stuff's done, I will yes, clean them off. That you can see, we have a bit of leakage here. And that's because I put too much in them. So, we will, A, <laughs> in the future, not fill them up all the way, and B, make sure you guys want to put them. Now, if you want to get doing a canning, want to get an actual canner, a wall bath canner, a big one, this is how it's going to be. You're going to have this here, a little rack, and then your top. This is good if you get 
to the point where you want to do some heavy duty canning. Again, you need to have a pressure cooker for low acid foods like meat, beans. Um, go on Ball Preserve, Ball uh, site, FreshPreserve.com, and they have everything you need to know. Till later, bye.